I've been at Ultimate Software for 14 years. Uh, we make human capital management software, and my role at the company currently is running our cloud infrastructure team for our development organization. Working at Ultimate Software, it seemed to have grown from just you know maintaining people's HR information and cutting people paychecks, uh, where I think the expectations for HCM software has greatly expanded to not only maintaining that information, but also expanding to give companies insights into their employee workforce. We are starting to really migrate everything we have towards a cloud offering and cloud-based solution. Uh, and that's leading us to all kinds of avenues and things that we didn't have access to before are starting to become unlocked. Now with cloud-based uh, technology, it's more of just allocating and, and spinning up that uh, technology at the push of a button, which makes things at scale much easier to handle. Our biggest initiative on the horizon is the speed with which we can get functionality to our customers and getting closer and closer to a true continuous delivery model. If you can be first to market, you can capture a great customer base around a new technology or a new piece of functionality or offering. So having a lot of things, as many things automated as possible is where we found the ability to keep things secure as well as making sure that people don't get in the way of development. Ultipro is a comprehensive uh, human capital management software that allows you to maintain an employee life cycle from recruitment all the way to retirement. So having the ability not only to recruit your best talent, to give them the best onboarding experience possible, to run the fastest, most accurate payroll engine on the market, all the way through uh, facilitating benefits and offerings to your workforce. Every company is a data company at this point. If data is getting in your way, it's definitely something that needs to be addressed immediately uh, because the more data you have, the better insights and algorithms you can build around that data. Data scenarios within our platform are rather complex. We're building out machine learning algorithms that require massive amounts of data. Dev can't go fast if they're waiting on hardware to spin up uh, and they're waiting for data scenarios to be created so that we can confirm functionality is ready to go. Fostering our relationship with our entire global security team has been paramount to a lot of success, right? Because we take uh, our data privacy and our customers' privacy very, very seriously. So the ability to deal with the massive amounts of data that people are putting into our system and that we are generating uh, via those insights, it's challenged us technically to really innovate and advance uh, the way we are uh, managing these systems and also moving forward uh, how we will uh, scale up in the future as we expand our customer base. Delphix makes data easy is uh, kind of what I would say about Delphix. When uh, people are requesting a test environment uh, currently, um, you could expect that to be uh, an, about an hour time frame uh, to get to uh, an entirely stood up application uh, and data layer. Our goal by the end of the Delphix project is to have that uh, roughly in the 10 minute range. Where I think people will be most blown away is the ability to snapshot not only a single database instance, but as we've branched out into more of a microservice architecture, one, not every database technology out there offers snapshotting at the push of a button, but two, it's the coordination of all of these database instances that can constitute or make up an entire environment. Being able to look at data in a temporal state is extraordinarily powerful. So when you ask me who's using Delphix at Ultimate Software, uh, my answer uh, will soon be everyone. Uh, all of engineering and product development will be using Delphix uh, under the hood. As I throw out things like, I want to, an environment to stand up in 10 minutes or less. Most people, when I said that the first time, thought I was crazy. Uh, but here we are, uh, you know, a couple months later, and all of a sudden, uh, we're starting to see uh, numbers start to drop down for things that used to take an extraordinarily long time. Uh, my advice for folks uh, on this journey to the cloud and uh, exploring uh, these new types of technologies that are out there is uh, to dream big, to kind of let go of the things that you think are true today uh, and start to imagine what you want to be true tomorrow.